Hey everyone, this is Gutsy here, bringing you another cast, and, uh, I don't know why I did that, but anyways, um, yeah, so, uh, I think this is a very high MMR one, possibly a high MMR, I'm starting to check the MMRs and stuff now, well, not really check, I just know about them, because, like, the replay system still glitched, so I have to still, like, search friends games, or, or something like that, so, yeah, so I, 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 Pretty much will know what the MMR is uh, until the replay thing's fixed, and then I could just do random games again. Uh, so yeah, other things to say: it's snowing outside like crazy, good old Canada. So you may hear the odd snowblower or something. But anyways, uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's do this cast. So it looks like we have. The Radiant and the Dire still picking their heroes. Looks like Invoker is instantly picked for the Radiant. That's going to most likely be a mid hero. Bounty Hunter also picked. That's going to be an off lane hero. Most likely. Uh, still no other heroes picked. I'm just going to speed this up because. Oh, ooh, people are picking pretty fast. I don't know. Shadow Fiend, Phantom Assassin for the Dire. We've got Axe for the Radiant. So there's their. Carry, uh, PA could be their carry for the Dire. We've got Troll for the Radiant. Two carries. Um, Shadow Fiend, there's your DPS. Most likely gonna go solo mid. I don't know about, um, just gonna slow this down. So we've got Magnus, we've got Enchantress, so there's a jungler support. Prepare uh, perfect battle. initiator for the Dire. They've also got a courier. It's that new Star Ladder one. Let's which looks really cool, actually. Uh, that's a disconnect, so we'll, they'll probably pause and wait for him. So, as expected, we will have Invoker going middle. Axe is not going middle. Most likely going to jungle. Uh, there's Troll heading off the bottom lane. We've got Bounty Hunter. He's most likely going to be the hard lane. Um, sheesh, all these players are really cool items. Uh, cosmetic items. Anyway, Shadow Fiend's going to go mid. Um... I'm not quite sure who would win in a fight, Invoker or Shadow Fiend. For some reason, I think Invoker. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm surprised. So, I'll have to look that up in the future. Anyways, Magnus is going bot in the hard lane. To due to his charge, they will pause. We're going to speed up so that we don't have to deal with this. Um, but Enchantress, I don't think she's going to jungle. I think she's laning. Which is probably a good idea, lane with a carry. Because, don't know about Brown yet, but the reason why Magnus is a good hard lane is because of his skewer. It's not as great as, uh, whoa, everyone's moving fast, there we go. It's not as great as, uh, Darkseer, but, like, Darkseer's run, but it's still, like, an escape move. Which a lot of heroes don't really have good ones. I'd say his is pretty efficient, you know, you could even, you could even go off here if you have to, or, or go over here. Um... The battle you know, begins. Just go through terrain and stuff like that. So we're going to have Troll and Axe just checking the rune. Allowing Troll to get that. I don't think by himself he's going to do too much. Ooh! Hello, Darkseer Hardlane. Looks like Enchantress will be jungling now. And Magnus will head off top. So that's good. Lena also has been picked. She's going to go bottom lane. And uh, they're off to fight. Uh, what lane to watch? We don't really watch hard lanes too much. I think I'm going to do that. So we're going to have Bounty Hunter up here with Phantom Assassin and Magnus. So we're going to watch this lane, check how it's going. I normally like to just go all around the map. Uh, but th this is what I've always been doing. So mostly focusing on the lane. That's our focus. So Bounty Hunter's keeping big distance. He doesn't want anything bad to happen. Uh, there's a last hit, so everyone's doing a really good job at last hitting. Magnus working on the denies, since he's not really a carry. So PA will last hit, Magnus will deny. Po it's going to be hard for Magnus to harass, though, but Bounty Hunters should come in here and get the odd last hit. Uh, possibly could have saved that Windwalk so that he could use the last hit and Windwalk out. Because um, he's currently sitting on 0 0, whereas PA is already a 6 0. Lots of denies on Magnus, too. That's 6 denies on Magnus. This is not good for Bounty Hunter. He's going to have to figure something out here. Wants things to head off better. Let's check him bottom lane. Darkseer harassing. Might be a gank here. Let's check this out. I don't think it'll be enough to kill him. But it is a lot of damage. 
you all realize that, just back out. We might see a first blood mid if uh, that happens again. But anyways, PA, good job by Bounty Hunter. But PA is now taking over the denies while Magnus stacks or pushes or pulls. Sorry, not pulls. He's not pushing. He's stack pulling. <laughs> Denied. Good deny by Bounty Hunter. That's the one thing about uh, solo hard lane. You have to focus on those denies. As well as the last hits. Harassing is also another thing you have to focus on. But it's a bit hard with melee here. Uh, nice. Perfect. See, even right there. PA couldn't have got that last hit. But used Stippling Dagger. Stiffling Dagger to do so. It's probably going to be a deny. No, she's going to back out. She does get the deny and the last hit. So PA is sitting at 13-4. It's pretty crazy. So Shadowfiend's getting that illusion rune that will heal him up. And that is a nice... Not stack, or maybe it was, but he just pulled another one. So Bounty Hunter is going to manage to get that. He does not have his wind walk up, so he's got to be pretty careful just in case. But they're fighting this, seeing who gets what. Nice. Good uh, skewer by Magnus. Or, sorry, not skewer. A shockwave. There we go. So Bounty Hunter will get that. He's getting pretty low. He's going to have the wind walk out of there. That's exactly what he's going to do. Um, Magnus might have been able to kill, get a kill there, even though he was invisible. Could have uh, skewered and shot a shockwave. Might have been able to get him. But again, that would all rely on uh, some good luck. Deny by Phantom Assassin. There's a last hit by Bounty Hunter. Good uh, shockwave by Magnus for harassing. We do have a uh, rune up here for the Dire. That will help with uh, room control. Tower is under Check out Enchantress's farming. Going so... I mean, uh, working out pretty uh, well so far. So we're going to have Magnus just keeping him back Radiant's while PA continues to farm. 20 attack. to 6. It's only 3 minutes. This is some crazy farm by PA, to be honest. Going to have a teleport here by Yellow. Uh, returning to his lane. Dark Seer just maintaining bottom. Fighting against the troll. Axe. Or Lino's pulling. Gonna go back up the top here because things look a bit tight. That's gonna be a nice last hit by PA and now. And Invoker just pummeling the creeps. Shadowfiend going down to this rune. Axe managed to get it. Uh oh. This is gonna end badly for Shadowfiend. Actually, no, it's ending badly for Axe. Invoker's gonna have to join this fight, taking some tower damage. Shadowfiend knows he's coming. He's gonna take the safer way. Uh, but Darkseer's kinda busy. He, He's not going back anytime soon. I don't think they're gonna be able to kill Shadowfiend, though. Oh! That's a nice call, and it's actually pulling him. Oh! Beautiful stuns by Lena. No. Holy shoot. There's a perfect first blood. That was really well played by these three. Uh, Lena was in the, the woods, uh, pulling and stuff, but managed to go back. Uh, to defend against that. So Troll just pummeling uh, the creeps as best as he can. Enchanter still jungling. Lots of little skeletons here. PA doing a pull. Uh, this is a pretty unique pull for her. Uh, because it, it, it's hard to pull in the safe line. If you're in the... Well, not here. Actually, no, it's not. <laughs> Sorry, it's hard for Bounty Hunter to pull. But it's possible. He could do a pull like this. If he wanted to. So it's hard to pull in the hard lane if you're in it. So for Dark Seer it'd be hard to pull. And same with up here. So Bounty Hunter's again pretty low. He's going to have to watch it because he could throw out some random... Uh, well, he doesn't have enough mana, but... Could throw out random Skewer and Shockwaves. Which wouldn't end too well. Uh, did manage to get that last hit there. So we've got a 31-7 to Phantom Assassin. That is extremely deadly. Let's check out the last hits because everyone's doing so well with it. Uh, she is actually not on the lead, obviously, because there is some junglers. But Bounty Hunter does not have an invis. This is not good. He's going to have to use the Fog War to his advantage. So far, it's working out quite nicely. Now as the wind walks, so he's going to be fine. Would have had to take in a random skew or something. But Magnus is still uh, pole stacking, getting his own EXP while PA uh, does her thing. <laughs> Again, you, most of the time, you're not just pulling to keep the wave back or to, like, give it to your carry. Usually uh, the puller relies on farming this wave and, and keeps pulling the creeps while the carry does their own thing. Spawny Hunter's just waiting. He's going to have to watch it. His uh, wind walk is not finished yet so he'll probably wait for that before he makes the last hit move. <clears throat> Ooh. 
Lucky for uh, Bounty Hunter Magnus does not have enough mana. Go check down here at bottom. Pretty sure there's going to be a gank. That's a nice stun by Lena. It's actually a lot of damage going. Can they kill him? Yes. Troll will get the last hit there. Uh, so things aren't looking too good for the Dyer so far. And uh, Troll bragging about that. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, middle lane 13 to 28 and holy that's actually a lot of last hits for shadow fiend but bounty hunter coming out of nowhere this is not good for bounty hunter oh almost hit him bounty hunter is gonna live can invoker manage to get the kill yes he will but that teleport i don't think invoker is going to live that's a miss but he still falls by the tower axe is in here but came a little too late so that's one for one it's three to one uh for the Radiant. But this this farm by the Dire is intense. Phantom Assassin already with the hand of Midas. Uh, seven minutes. I'd say that's uh, that's that's pretty early. You know, nine minutes kind of like standard for depending on like if situations go bad or really nothing happens. So that's an earlier hand of Midas. You can get earlier than that, but either way. Lena 17 last hits. We got Magnus at the bottom for last hits. But probably one of the top for denies, uh, other than Shadow Fiend, who has to focus on denies. Thus making him a great mid hero. Bottle on Shadow Fiend, no bottle on Invoker. Looks like going for those phase boots, has the magic sticks. Uh, these guys doing a good job at uh, controlling Shadow Fiend from getting the runes due to Invoker not having bottle. <coughs> Troll Warlord, farming a bit. Darkseer keeping his distance, staying back. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. So Bounty Hunter's gonna spot this. Ooh, I see bad guy. And Invoker's gonna stay back. Ooh, that's pretty good. I don't know. Enchantress might die here. That's a good heal though, but let's see what happens. Shadow Fiend's actually pummeling Bounty Hunter. There goes Bounty Hunter down, and I don't think that Invoker's gonna get this. He's gonna have the Sun Strike, and he did not go that, uh, Invoker. So, good thing Axe comes out of nowhere. Lena uses the ult to get the last hit. And Shadow Fiend's just going to keep distance with these three mid. They might be able to push it. Not quite sure if that's going to happen. We'll find out in a second here. So here we go. That's a, that's a lot of creeps for Shadow Fiend, but he should not be here. He should definitely stay in the trees, which he is now doing. Uh, there goes a creep. Summoning some skeletons for him, <laughs> I guess. Um, Blink Dagger on Lena. That's pretty crazy. What's her items? That's actually really good farm. Phantom Assassin is now in the lead for farm. <clears throat> Troll Warlord's pretty high up there too. Now has her boots. Tons of gold actually. Wonder what she's saving up for. Bounty Hunter's got his phase boots. Oh, oh, leg. Ooh, what's going on? Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Magnus still farming up these creeps. Still way at the bottom. Uh, this is interesting. I'm surprised he's... He's not getting these last hits. I guess Bounty Hunter must be doing a good job stealing them. Uh, but Bounty's down there too with last hits. He doesn't have a whole lot. But he is a hard lane hero. But like right there, that's a last hit. He will get that one. Either way. PA doing very well. Looks like uh, Bounty just killed Shadow Fiend, but falls to Enchantress. Enchantress might even be able to kill uh, Invoker here. Depending on their rambling skills. Darkseer wants to ramble. Enchantress doesn't. I don't know if this is a good idea. There's a TP. Darkseer is going to be like, ah, I'm out of here. Can he throw a tornado? Oh, so close. So no, he cannot. There's Enchantress. Kind of getting pummeled. But they're probably going to go for a creep. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Tornado missed. There's some nice sentries. So they're going for Darkseer. Who should be fine. Check out over here, Lena blinking and trying to kill PA. PA doing a good job of using the woods to the advantage. Radiance middle tower. Magnus can grab that. Does have his alt. Ooh, Darkseer is looking pretty low. <laughs> but he should be fine. Doesn't want to stay around too much. Anyways, axe in the wrong place at the wrong time. No one else was here. Better luck next. Uh, troll still farming bottom. Check up here. Lena doing quite well, actually. So Troll's using his alt. Can't find why he is. I guess just the creep. Has Perseverance. Perseverance. Whoa! Phantom Assassin's out of here. Uh, farm, farm queen, I guess. All you want, but... 
Sometimes it just comes down to those ganks. And uh, they, they still have a farm team. I mean, look at this. Phantom Assassin is now behind in farm. Troll is in the lead. So that's just going to be more help for, for the Radiant. So it's 6 to 4. Magnus using the clones to scout. And scout some more. And these will really help for uh, finding a bounty hunter's around. I guess I still select it on Troll. So he's going Battle Fury. That's kind of interesting. I guess he really Radiant's wants to work on farm. Under Got Axe. Not really going for anything at the moment. We're going to have an engagement here. Shadow Fiend and Troll. Ooh, Shadow Fiend knows this is a bad idea. Troll's just backing out. Probably knew he couldn't really uh, kill him. Checking top. Chantress doing a good job with support. Plunking wards all over the place. Bounty Hunter just waiting for kills. Magnus skewering out to safety. And uh, yikes, here we go. Invoker's kind of in trouble. So is Bounty Hunter. Troll using his ability to try and kill the tower and will. However, top tower is most likely going to fall the Phantom Assassin, who is also working on Battle Fury. That room won't be up for too much longer. Lena might try and get a kill. We've got three mid for the Dire. Did have three for the Radiant. Might be coming back, Axe. He could fire him. He could stay close by. Ooh, that creep's probably gonna die. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's all right. Could kill those later on. Dark Seer farming. <coughs> Phantom assassin farming. Shadow Fiend doesn't have much. Uh, let's check the KDR board. Actually, this is an easier way. Uh, he's doing okay. Uh, Lena is just destroying, and they're gonna go for her. Him. There goes Troll, he's using all. Oh, whoa, that's a lot. And I don't think that TP was smart. Now it's okay because there's others. And holy, he's getting slow. That distance on that is doing a lot of damage. Bounty Hunter doing whatever he can to try and save him. Even though he's dusted. Might have to buy a TP. Will use the trees. Probably gonna escape. I don't know. Depending on how long he wants to save it. Uh oh, this could end badly for Enchantress. Oh, no! Two, one, never mind, should be fine. He's gonna win walk. That was pretty close though. And Janata was maxed, so. Middle tower is under attack. Barely any items on Magnus. Probably gonna let uh, Chantress grab that. Yep. Regeneration. Magnus just checking Roshan, buying items. Uh, to anyone who doesn't know, the secret shop, if you go right here, you can buy items. Uh, it's a safer way, especially if you're on the Radiant, rather than running into the Dyer's territory, if you're on, good draw on the mini-map. This half of the map in here. So, yeah. A lot of the Dyer is cycling up the top. Uh, Shadow Fiend taking advantage of that last Radiant's hit from that weak creep. Is under attack. A branch being dropped on the ground. You see that a lot in high MMR games. And, uh... Bounty Hunter. Scouting out. Not the best place to scout. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, Invoker saves him. Now knows that they have sentries around. Three up top. I don't know if this is good for Lena. She can't blank either. Two, three, two. No, she's out. Great uh, shockwave by Magnus. Shadow Fiend heading to bottom. Nice wards by the Radiant. Uh, probably not one of my favorite spots. The reason why he placed the ward here is Radiant's because this ward is, is giving attack. rune vision. Otherwise, you could place this ward right here. And maybe this ward could be placed right here. It gives more of your own vision. It's a better ward to place here if you're part of the Dire, but... Either way, those are good wards. Radiant's so that's going to give vision of that haste. Fallen. And uh, Enchantress managing to destroy a tower. Phantom Assassin running away. And these two should definitely not persist because there is three in the woods. Uh, Magnus has now rotated to mid. Has some money. Not too many items. Uh, I think we have seen some support items out of Magnus. I'm gonna check up here. Phantom Assassin is definitely in big trouble. And these two need to help her out because she is the carry. So they will. Uh, but will they live in the process? Uh, there goes a nice uh, battle hunger call thingy, battle 
Berserker's call. There you go. That courier just delivering items. Uh, they should be fine. I don't know. That's a lot of movement speed because of track. That's gonna give a lot of team gold if they uh, manage to get that. Nice all by Magnus. Totally turning this around. Holy shoot. There's vision. You're not leaving there, bounty hunter. And uh, they fall pretty hard. So Shadow Fiend heading to mid. Uh, this tower is. Uh, fortified, but I don't know if they could save it. There's Shadow Fiend, there's Magnus. Magnus has nothing, though. Haste. In terms of of abilities. Lena's coming in here uh, pretty fast. But there's three. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if they know she's here. I mean, Axe is trying to give some vision when he was up here. Or not Axe, sorry, Invoker. So Invoker's going in. That's going to have to force Lena to go in. There she goes. Nice stun. Beautiful stun by Lena. She's also going to throw that. There's an ult. Two kills. Right on Axe. That's really dangerous. There's a nice hard carry uh, with some kills. And now lots of gold. So might be seeing a blink out of him soon too. Uh, you don't want to overdo it on blinks though. Two is probably enough for the team. Vlad's on Bounty Hunter. That'll help out uh, Axe as well. Meanwhile, Troll, holy kills, using a smoker to see, going to Rosh actually, he's got the lifesteal, he's now switching to agility treads, and the battle fear, this is going to be no problem for him, uh, especially because he has Feber Max, Phantom Assassin, heading back, Shadow Fiend, not too many items for him, we haven't seen a lot from Shadow Fiend, but you don't need a lot of items uh, early game with his... Uh, Necromastery. I knew that one before. I had to check it. Uh, Troll keeping the spirit high and uh, Magnus making funny faces. Checking out up here. More farm. Phantom Assassin still pretty far behind Troll. Uh, Troll's doing a really good job. Uh, but however, the Dyer is in the lead in terms of farm. Uh, past Axe. Kill wise, the radiant is, but it's not too much, so uh, the dark could definitely. Uh, oh! It's gonna give some nice true sight vision. Either way, they want this tower. There is a good four dire in the middle, and there's only one, now two radiant. They're gonna also spot Bounty Hunter over here. Probably not gonna be able to do anything about it, depending on if they have. Uh, that, that's a good item. I was waiting to see an item from Shadow Fiend. So they know he's here, now they've just given it away, but, uh, yeah. Lena's stunning creeps. She's probably gonna head back to base after that, or go to someone that could replenish her. Haven't seen much of Invoker, he's been staying pretty, uh, strict to mid lane. 60 last hits, that's actually pretty high. Considering a solo mid. Radiant's Bang this, just saying, stay back! Throwing shockwaves. PA needs to catch up on farm, probably grabbing treads right now. Yep. <laughs> oh, you know we haven't seen too much darks here. Who is middle? Shadow Fiend, uh oh. I mean he's got windwalk, but if that track gets off Oh nice windwalk by Shadow Fiend. I'm pretty sure he knew something was fishy. Christ. And it's not showing up as windwalk for us, but it is. There goes Shadow Fiend. Bounty Hunter's gonna take advantage of that. There's the track and everything. So Axe is gonna fall, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Shadow Fiend's out. Not a good trade for the Radiant, though. The Dire definitely benefited there. Two carries for, uh, like a semi carry, I guess you could call him. Shadow Fiend. Troll, where are you? Still farming. Holy stacked. Look at that. Just ripping that stack. Using this creep to stack also. Uh, Helm of the Dominator. You take over creep to anyone new. Plunk it up here. And every, uh, I think it's the same for the other creeps. 52 seconds, uh, you make the creep attack, pull them back, and, uh, the creeps will respawn stacking, and that just, uh, totally helps troll. So he's saving up for probably Daedalus, which is extremely dangerous on him. We're gonna see, uh, the power of troll. There's a bash. This is not good for Phantom Assassin. Blinking away. I don't think she has a chance, though. Switching to his range mode. Picks her off pretty easily. Beautiful plays by Troll. Shadow Fiend's up here. Uh, really can't do too much. He's getting pretty cocky. Let's see if he can uh, back those words up now with two of the Dire here. Beautiful all by Shadow Fiend. Check out that all by Magnus. Just so much auto attack. Oh my goodness, he still gets a kill. Aegis activated. No one's up here, though. Can he run out? Oh my goodness, he's gonna have to get out of there because there's another one. 
Mate, if he gets another kill, I will laugh. No, he's getting pretty. He's getting slowed pretty hard. I don't think he's getting nothing. Nice vacuum by Dark Seer. Uh, that was still a benefit for him. I mean. <laughs> but anyways, uh, the the the, the uh, distracted by the damn chat. Ah, uh, shoot! <laughs> I knew that would come. But anyways, um, in that situation, he got two kills. But he lost an Aegis and, of course, his own life. It's technically two for one. Uh, but, but some people would argue, uh, saying that's just even because the Aegis was gone. Uh, if his teammates were around, that could have totally changed for the better. Like, they definitely could have plus from that. Uh, Axe gonna blink up here due to the vision of Bounty Hunter. Uh, not good for Phantom Assassin. She really doesn't have much to blink to. She can now blink, yes. She's just gonna chill in the woods. Not a good idea though. Here's four of them. One, two, three, four. No chance. No chance. Absolutely destroyed. So the Radiant's doing really well with ganking and stuff like that. Blink Dagger on Magnus. So everyone's doing very well in farm. Bounty Hunter's actually the lowest. Uh, but for kill wise, let's just pop up that KDR board. Doing not too bad. Regeneration. Check up here. I don't know if this is where Bounty Hunter should be. I mean, yes, he's keeping them back from the tower. That tornado is also going to pick off two of them. But due to that fortification, they're, gonna, they're just going to chill. Dyer has a ward up here, so they're going to see Invoker and Axe. They will not see Bounty Hunter, though. They'll see him if he goes here. Ooh. I like Darkseer's item. Vanguard. Flight mail could be an assault curse. Most likely going to be like a shivs or something. But anyways, they're going to pop that tower. Uh, Magnus, beautiful all, but where's his teammates? Oh, there's no point in ulting if no teammates are there. Uh, Darkseer a bit too late on his ult, so that's going to be useless as well. This is like a w going in one at a time thing, which I talked about in many of my other casts before. Only, you got to communicate with your teammates no matter uh, how you have to do it. Just get those team fights going. They're going to back out though because they're all low. He only sees Axe. But he is kind of pummeling Bounty Hunter at the same time. They're still going to chase, but they're going to escape. <clears throat> Not much time left on this ward. It will spot this double damage that's just spawned. Lena with the Yules. Good item for her. Uh, just another disable. Throw in uh, Invoker's Tornado. Like, There's at least three heroes disabled. Let's check out some other statistics. Hero level. Surprisingly, with Troll's amazing farm, he is not that high in level. Uh, and I think he's actually going for MKB instead of Daedalus. Either way, EXP per man, Troll is definitely up there. Net worth. Wow, Troll and Pierre are actually pretty close in net worth. Um, what else? Current gold, lots saved up by Invoker. Probably saving up for sheep. Oh yeah, definitely saving up for sheep stick. <laughs> Uh, no, we don't want to see you, KDR board. Actually, PA is doing pretty bad. Uh, if she had some kills, this would probably be in a different place for the Dyer. With her amazing farm. Um, plus, kill death it says. Might as well keep that up. So, yeah. The Dyer's down there. They, w they were definitely winning in farm. I don't think they are now. Uh, last hit denies. Yeah, some of them are starting to drop, but they were definitely up there. But yeah, keep it on this. Not too many kills this game. <laughs> Enchantress leading. Uh, she could be quite deadly later on, especially since she is saving up for that scepter. Axe just destroying Shadowfiend down here good day, sir. with Bounty Hunter. Not a good place for Troll to be. Uh, he's gonna have to just at least try for some kills. Holy shoot, two- Oh my goodness! Please, no! Oh my- And Lena just came! He soloed four of them. Oh my goodness. Goodness. Going for BKB. Holy cow, this is crazy. This troll is insane. The Cha King is definitely chawing it up. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but whatever. Racks are going too. All five are dead. They're going to push bottom tower. Probably not going to get this. Uh, Trolls not being very mannered though. Rep lost. And we've 
or pop. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, still possible for the Dire Tone. Uh, I'm not sure if Shadow Fiend is going for uh, Manta. Maybe just stick into the Asha. Depending on the situation, these guys are going to push by. No, they aren't. They're going to back here. Is Rosh up? Close. They could possibly Rosh. Oh, Ward and Ward. <laughs> Maybe Green can pick off Lena. I don't know if Green has the ability to. Not leveling untouchable. Yeah. That's kind of interesting. Uh oh. Like, for example, untouchable will really help for here. But holy, they're going to kill him. Oh, nice. Magnus bringing him back with Skewer. Using that ward to their advantage. So, anyways, going to have Darkseer plunking up a wall. Probably not the best idea. Unless we was for sure that he would get a kill. Invisibility. Voker's now invisible. Does have that sheep stick. Going to go for Scepter now. Uh, I like this build better. Going sheep before Scepter. Uh, you're just... Like, I know Scepter is nice. Oh, no mana and, and like, no cooldown. But, but... Like, it already doesn't really have a cooldown. Especially at max level. It's five. You know? You don't need to rush it. <laughs> But pe people are like, but five seconds is a huge difference. And I know. I'm not saying don't go Scepter. But but still. BKB on Troll hate. Warlord. Uh, he's pretty maxed out. He could go a lot of different items. There's Roshan. Now popped up. So he's going to easily take that using these creeps. This is what you're supposed to do. If you are a, like a new player to Dota... It's tempting to walk illusions into here, but they die instantly. So you you place them when you're rushing. You just place them around, or even like fake it out. Like look at this, they're using a but. Look, see, look how many abilities that guy. Just by being a whatever. Wow, bullseye. Okay. <laughs> so he now has Aegis. What did he drop for that? A stout shield or something? Either way, they see Lena up here. Actually, yeah, they do. Especially with that sentry ward. Not looking good for Darkseer, though. But he's got backup, so he should be fine. <clears throat> Yikes. PA going in there. I don't think there's much that uh, PA can do, though. Ooh, beautiful cleaves, though. Look at those cleaves. And PA's still alive, too, but he's booking. Just ripping. <laughs> no, he's going back. He wants to help out. I guess Troll was pushing bot. Probably can. I mean, you know, Invoker's pretty uh, occupied over here with three of them. I mean, I don't think these two could really take him, considering what we saw from Troll last time. He sees him. See, he's even going in, but he's got Shadow Blade. He can't get him. Even though it's on cooldown, won't take long. Invoker did fall, so actually all of the Radiant is down. Good comeback by the Dire. Just split up. Not really organized. It's not too much they could do. Okay. <laughs> this purple is pretty serious. Anyways. BKB almost on PA. She does that battle fury. Uh, Troll's now up there and kills. Let's check the last hits denies again. Troll, yeah. Troll's got quite a distance. But the Dire is actually surprisingly kind of stabilizing their... Whoa, lag. Just the Enchantress, like... FPS walking, but anyways, um, the Dire was mostly up here, and then they kind of fell behind, but it looks like they're catching up a bit. Whoa, Troll just slaughtering Shadow Fiend out of nowhere. This Troll is, uh, doesn't really have manners, though. <laughs> um, it's not looking too good for the Dire still. 23 to 16. They are doing technically okay for farm, but the ganks and everything is just a lot better with uh, the Radiant. So Phantom Assassin actually will kill Lena. So here he goes. He's going in. That's a nice ult by Magnus, but only hits one. That's a that's a better ult by Darkseer, actually. This might help him out, but uh, Troll's doing a lot of damage. Switching to that range mode, now using the slow witch miss. He's not going to get him. Axe. Did have blink, he possibly could have killed him. Um, nice, pulling Darkseer back. Uh, 
there's just so much going on and Volker disabling a bunch, bringing them up in the air. He already is, there's Sheep, so there goes Enchantress. Uh, they're gonna pummel these racks. And uh, Bounty Hunter is kinda getting mad. I'm gonna have to do a lot of censoring this game. <laughs> but anyways. Uh, do, 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 do. The Radiant actually holding off pretty well, even though they're still... I mean, the Dire holding off pretty well, even though they're still Radiant in their base. Uh, Sheep's almost done its cooldown. Trolls just pulling a bunch of stuff. All they need to kill is this for game. They could just push here. So, the Dire... The Ra... Bleh! The Dire has to stick and group together. Uh, he's invis. It's just glitching out. No trolls not allowing them to live. <laughs> Dexter has quite a bit of money. Almost close to that next part of Shiv's. Axe, actually, his items are kind of poor. But, like, if we check his farm, he doesn't really have it, so. Here goes Invoker using Deafening Blast. Here comes Troll, BKB. There's going to be a lot of kills here. At least two. Uh, there's one, to clarify that. Here comes a Tornado. Oh, yeah, this is going to be kill number two right here. Definitely another. Oh, three! Phantom Assassin coming in, trying to kill Invoker, but he's just extremely tank with that point booster and uh, sheep stick. Blink Dagger still on Magnus. Shadow Fiend. I think it was going for Manta too. So they're, they're not gonna worry about the other stuff. They're just gonna um, go mid and end it. Troll just having too much fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're going for the main. Not much the uh, Radiant can do. I mean the dire. Sheesh, I got really mixed up at the end. And uh, that's game. I'm so focused by the chat. I got really distracted near the end. Uh, I hope you all like it. I thought it was pretty interesting. I've never seen a troll uh, slar that much. Other than when I play him. <laughs> Not saying I'm good. But uh, yeah, so. There is the cast. I have a lot of censoring to do. Uh, Troll actually didn't manage to go for Satanic near the end. Checking out some other items. Yeah, um, Radiant really couldn't finish a lot. Shadow Fiend could have got, um, Manta. Darkseer could have got Shivs. They were, they were pretty close to some core items. Enchantress was way far away from Scepter. Magnus pretty much had what he needed to have. And Phantom Assassin did okay, but couldn't finish that, uh, BKB. So yeah, um, hope you liked it. See you all next time.